Welcome to Tsuji This Week. I'm Anita Lee. It's good to have you with us. Coming up in this week's top stories, we join Taiwan Tima members as they provide medical assistance to seniors living in remote areas. A Chinese radio station in Canada donates to Tsuji in support of the Blue Sky Project. And lastly, Tsuji celebrates its 25th anniversary in the United States by holding a charity concert. It has been almost a year since Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines, and by holding cash for work programs in the hard hit areas, volunteers are not only helping improve residents' livelihood, but also helping heal the psychological scars left by the disaster. Program participants are using their salaries to reopen their businesses and rebuild their homes. Though the money will be gone one day, the gratitude for Tsuji's help will always remain. Under the blazing sun, cash for work participants are busy at work. Typhoon Haiyan damaged the city's famous Santo Nino Church. One of the goals of Tsuji has been to rebuild this important spiritual landmark. Tsuji came, the, the, the attitude, atmosphere had a turnabout yeah, because the people started to work to clean their areas thanks to Tsuji and you know, they started to rebuild their houses also. Nowhere can the benefits brought by the Cash for Work program be seen more clearly than at the Sacred Heart College, which was in ruins last November. So much has Tsuji been identified with the rebuilding process that one of the school's nuns was mistaken for a Tsuji volunteer by the construction workers. Their first reaction was that I was from Tsuji. This made me realize that Tsuji has had remarkable success here. Here in Panalaran Bay, residents are using the money received from the Cash for Work program to reopen their businesses or rebuild their homes. Even now, when residents think back to the damage brought by the typhoon, tears come. <laughs> Remembering the devastation brought by Typhoon Haiyan, she started crying. Then she thanked Tsuji for helping them. With its Cash for Work program, Tsuji is bringing hope and love to communities, allowing residents to walk out from under the shadow of devastation brought on that terrible day. In Tanyin Township, Mainmar Tsuji volunteers have been building 12 schools in rural villages. Currently, most of the schools have been completed. However, the construction on Tatun and DayZ Elementary schools, due to the school's remote location and the recent inclement weather, is behind schedule. Volunteers, however, have not given up, and to avoid the poor conditions on the roads, have taken to delivering the building materials by boat. Here's more. With Miramar's roads in bad shape as a result of the recent heavy rains, engineers have taken to the water to ferry supplies and manpower to the construction site. This is not a big river we are talking. They are all irrigation channels and such. When it rains a lot, the waters of these channels will rise, and they become feasible to sail on. Although transporting materials by boat has solved many of the construction problems, the engineers have other problems to overcome. Riding on the channels, we have to watch out for the tides. If we hit low tide, we have to carry the supplies by ourselves. From the pier to the work site, we usually make that trip 10 times in a day. It is really exhausting work. Using manpower to move the heavy supplies is tiring. However, for those involved in the construction, there is no complaint, just focused effort. Our country is poor. But now we have the help of a foreign charity organization. I'm also a Buddhist and am doing my part. This job not only offers a salary, but also a way to get a merit. We should be offering our thanks to Tsuji. Tsuji has come all the way here to Myanmar to help its citizens in the form of new and beautiful elementary schools. We see this as our duty and we will overcome all obstacles to fulfill it. Thanks to the hard-working engineers, the steel frames of the school have been successfully delivered to the work sites of the two schools. Now that they have the right materials at hand, the engineers estimate they will have the schools up and running by the end of October. In our next report, we learn what Tsushas have been doing around the globe. In Australia, a Tsusha seminar was held in Melbourne, where participants learned to cherish all resources. 
Meanwhile, in Malaysia, Tsishas in Seremban visited a rehab center to learn more of the negative effects that drugs have on the human body. Here in Malaysia, Seremban, Tsishas are visiting a rehab center where they learn how harmful drugs can be to both one's body and mind and how it destroys one's future. The storyline of the short play represents our previous lifestyle. I hope through sharing of our personal experiences that these young people will not choose the wrong path in life. I feel that drugs are harmful. If used in excess, they are really detrimental. To ensure these young adults stay on the right path in life, Tsuji volunteers organized this trip to help them learn to differentiate right from wrong. Most of the drug addicts were abandoned by their parents and had no family love, so they were easily addicted to drugs. Through our sign language song, we hope to pass on our love to them. <laughs> We give these kids the opportunity to plant these saplings. In a few years' time, when we bring them back here to see the trees they planted, they might feel differently. After the visit, Tzu Shaos not only gain a better understanding of the effects drugs have on people, but also learn to cherish life even more. Through a series of tests, these students are learning more about themselves. In Melbourne, Australia, participants of a Tsushao seminar are experiencing the life of a handicapped, as well as learning how to survive with a crowd in a small space. Through various activities, these students will come to realize how fortunate they are and learn to count their blessings. I wanted to come here and see if I can change my way of life. I will use what I've learned here to influence my friends and invite them to join me. Knowing that they have the power to change the world, Tzu Shao's vow to start by influencing those around them. Tima members have long cared for residents living in medically deprived areas. Recently, they returned to Shaanxi, New Taipei City, for a scheduled free clinic. Some might think the trip to reach these remote villages is not worth the effort. However, for Tima members and city volunteers, each free clinic is just like a family reunion. Meanwhile, a team of Tima dentists joined hands to provide dentures for five needy seniors of the indigenous tribe, Tafalan. Let's take a look. In Hualien, Taiwan, Tima dentist Li Yibang patiently adjusts the dentures fitting for 93-year-old Chen Chunjiang. After seeing herself with a full set of teeth once more, the senior smiles with confidence. <laughs> After getting dentures, I can smell all the way home. <laughs> Seeing the need in the Taifalon tribe, Northern District Tima doctors Huang Xiangling and Lai Gang Hong and Eastern District Tima dentist Li Yibang teamed up to provide dentures for seniors without teeth. Dentures aren't just given to a patient and that's it. It takes adjustments and fittings. So this is really a relay of love and care. When we see the smiles on their faces, it really makes us feel the effort was worthwhile. Understanding the anticipation of these seniors, dentists not only make sure the teeth are aesthetically beautiful, but most important, comfortable to use. After they receive their dentures, the seniors have more options during meals. They're able to eat the same foods as when they originally had teeth. Learning how to masticate once more, the senior takes a bite of an apple. The five seniors, now with dentures, will surely treasure the affinity they have with Siji. Meanwhile, in New Taipei City, Shuangxi, Tima members and Siji volunteers are crossing streams and climbing mountains as part of their free clinic. After the trek, they finally reach their destination. 
，你好。即个即个医书，医书了，医书了。你也无做这，想替你家讲，无你家讲。伊嘛跟你讲生了。Senior Cho A Lian might not remember the individual volunteers, but he knows that a Buddhist organization pays them visits on a routine basis. 这个，这这饼啦，饼干，这要给你吃哩。哦哦，我阿吃一块来，你阿伯忙来。哦，阿伯忙来吼，阿拉是迄个正严发书的徒弟。Just like a daughter would, the medical volunteers look after the seniors' help. Remember to clean your wound and then apply the ointment. Safeguarding the health of seniors in remote regions seems tiring, but in the eyes of the volunteers, it is not a burden at all. Why am I willing to join in the free clinic and bear a small portion of the responsibility? It's because I enjoy the interactions between the seniors. I look forward to seeing them every two months or so. Whether caring for seniors in Shangxi or Hualien, team of doctors and city volunteers provide high-quality care and unwavering support. In Australia, city volunteers in both Melbourne and Brisbane have been reaching out to help those in need. Recently, nearly 60 volunteers and medical staff were mobilised in Melbourne to hold a free dental clinic for refugees, while volunteers in Brisbane came together to organise their regular food distribution in Ipswich. Let's take a look. Here in Ipswich of Queensland, city volunteers are holding their regular food distribution, with recipients bringing back their coin banks to donate. Besides handing out food to fulfill the recipients' stomachs, volunteers also hope to spread happiness and warmth. Think about the Bible and God, but here is where I feel in my heart that I, I just feel such such calmness and peace. Queensland Ipswich was one of the hard-hit areas during the flooding in 2011. It was then city set foot in the city and has been carrying out regular distribution till today. It's good to see people who care so much about other people that they can also, you know, give people. The love that transcends all boundaries has moved many local residents to join the volunteers' ranks. It's helpful for those who have less. While attending the event, recipients donate whatever spare coins they can, in hopes of spreading love to those in greater need. Moving south to Melbourne, 58 city volunteers and medical staff were mobilized to carry out a dental clinic to serve 28 refugees from Africa and the Middle East. I can, uh, I can never list down the things, kindness, love, empathy, sympathy, generosity, care. There is a lot of words for you guys, for every one of you. Yeah. I'm really very grateful. I cannot express my feelings in my words, how much I am. Despite the differences in ethnicity and religion, volunteers, medical staff, and patients are like one big family. A little bit of injection. To work on a Saturday, but um, having read the the, um, the mission statement of, of the organisation, it's uh, definitely a worthwhile cause. You know, helping those that can't afford dental treatment um, is something you know just so spiritually rewarding. Knowing how rewarding giving can be, volunteers also share their joy with patients in hopes of encouraging them to pay the love forward. Each year, a local Chinese radio station in Vancouver, Canada, Bay Child Radio, hosts a talent competition known as Sunshine Nation that provides a platform for contestants to showcase their talents. This year, the radio station decided to donate the proceeds from their ticket sales to Tsuji Canada in support of their Blue Sky project, which provides breakfast for impoverished children. Preparing jam sandwiches and helping out with breakfast, these youngsters are not really sure of what to do, but a volunteer patiently explains. When you are pouring juice for the little kids, just pour half a cup of juice, not a full cup, because it might spill. 
knowing that Suji's Blue Sky project provides free breakfasts for underprivileged students and hoping to play a part in the fight against poverty, a local Chinese radio station decided to donate the proceeds from ticket sales of an annual talent contest to Suji. I hope they will be able to have a wholesome breakfast every morning. While we were helping out, I could sense the children's pure and innocent nature. Under their glamorous appearances, I hope each of them may also foster a heart of compassion. It is just as important to cultivate our inner being. The presence of these older brothers and sisters brightened up the school's dining hall. Most are from low-income families and others from refugee families. These children can feel the love of these older brothers and sisters, as well as the care of members of society. DJ Sam also called on his listeners to join him in practicing good deeds and to provide these children with a promising and bright future. To mark Tiji's 25th anniversary in the United States, the first of a series of musical concerts were held in Sigurdström Hall, during which renowned Chinese singer Emil Chow made a surprise appearance. Besides singing a few favorites for his audience, the singer also appealed to the public to become registered bone marrow donors to help leukemia patients like Alex Tung. To celebrate Suji's 25th anniversary in the United States, Suji volunteers are holding a series of musical fundraising concerts around the nation, with the first one held in Seegerstrom Hall. A little love, a little can save me. Renowned Taiwanese singer Zhou Huajian was invited by his sister-in-law, who is a Suji volunteer, to sing at the concert. I wanted to give Tsuji a big present, and I know that Emil Cha has the power to influence the public. He told me if I invited him, he would definitely come. The song So I Stand Up is written by Zhou Hua Jin's nephew, Zhang Fei Fei's son, Zhou Hong Min, after experiencing a difficult time in his life. Five years ago, when I was in Taiwan, she had a, a seizure, and I thought that I had lost her. I tried to bring forth that emotion within the song. The worst time that you were in was not the end because uh, friends and family came to support us. Suji, I think, does a great job with that. The most beautiful moment today for me was when our brothers and sisters were listening to the song, so I stand up, and I saw how everyone reflected on their own past. In front of the 3,000 guests, Zhou Hua Jian once again called on everyone to become registered bone marrow donors to help leukemia patients like Alex Tung. Let me say it again. We need everyone's help to make this miracle happen. And that is Alex Tung. Thank you so much for giving me so much love. I will recover with the love you have given me and then help more people in need. As Tsuji enters the next 25 years here in the U.S., Tsuji volunteers vow to continue their work in spreading truth, goodness, and beauty to all corners of society. In celebration of 25 years of Tsuji in the United States, the Tsuji Foundation has planned a series of concerts around the country. At the inaugural concert, 300 volunteers were mobilized to participate in what was the biggest concert in the history of Tsuji here in the United States. The powerful sign language expresses the fearless determination of Venerable Jin Jin to spread the Dharma. Altogether, 120 volunteers practiced for three months, so that on this night, they could clearly portray to dissimilar perseverance here in the U.S. over the past 25 years. We had to be hardworking and find a way to connect with those around us. In this way, our movements could come together harmoniously. The musical stage performance, A Beacon in the Dark, was written, directed and performed by the volunteers themselves. In total, it took the volunteers six months to finish writing and producing the musical. They do read the Suzy Agorism, and then they, they do like try to become a better person in general. Well, they can't change by themselves, so I hope 
Suzy will be the force that will make them change. Also part of the night was the dance performance One Thought to a Thousand Actions, composed by performing artist Ma Shu Fen. Written especially for the night, Ma and her team spent three months getting the movements of the story just right. It was hard practice from start to finish. All that work was apparent, however, when we were on stage. As they say, one minute on stage requires 10 years of work off it. As volunteers give their best on stage, the audience responded in kind. I've been a supporter of Ciji for many years. Although what I give is not much, I remain committed to supporting Ciji events. In the bigger scheme of things, 25 years is almost nothing. But for the Ciji volunteers here in the U.S., these 25 years have been a time of exciting growth and the start of a path that they will walk for another 25. Next, we meet Wang Zhenya and his wife, Xu Shuqing, from Jilong, Taiwan, who are both currently enrolled in Ciji's volunteer training program. Walking the Bodhisattva path together, the couple has inspired their daughter to join them in practicing good deeds. Here's their story. Accompanied by her mother, Wang Yuhan is the first in line at the peripheral blood stem cell donation drive. This is a gift she's giving herself on her 18th birthday. If we can save a life, then we should do what we can. There is no harm to our bodies and we can provide someone with a better life. One of the basic requirements for stem cell donation is that candidates must be between 18 to 45 years of age. Having just turned 18, Yu Han happens to meet that criteria. I was going to sign up in June last year, but since I am born in May, I am over the maximum age. Since she meets all the requirements, she registered. I'm really happy. As Yu Han's parents are enrolled in Suji's volunteer training program, she often joins them at volunteer activities as well. The weekend is the family's recycling day, where they sort recyclables together at the recycling station. They will come home and share stories with me after their seminars. We talk about everything now, not like before when our tempers would get the best of us. Benefiting society through charity, with a common goal, this family has become united in harmony. Yesterday, October 10th, was Taiwan's National Day. Events featuring a military parade and dance performances took place in front of the presidential building to mark the occasion. We leave you with these images at the end of our show. Thank you for watching. See you next week.